Mass shootings are unfortunately becoming more common across our country, and statistics show most shootings take place before police arrive. That's why the Visiting Nurse Association of Kansas City is taking action. Employees spent the day learning how to handle an active shooting situation. The now KC's Allison Bruner explains this training could mean the difference between life and death. Help save lives when seconds count. That's the goal of Safe Defend, preparing its clients, like the team at Visiting Nurse Association of Kansas City, for the worst. We have a duty to prepare them for any and all emergencies. I do tend to work a, a few hours and be the only one in the building. So for me, it's really important to know that I could get help if something happened. A safe box Kathleen can now find inside her work. A single swipe of your finger will activate the alarm, contact local police, and send an email and text alert to all employees. So if I'm coming back from a meeting outside the building, I'm going to get that emergency text, but I'm also going to see a blue stribe, strobe going off outside the building. I'm not going into harm's way. Inside, you'll also find things like mace and a police baton. It's the high-intensity strobe, uh, the gel pepper spray, or uh, the trauma pack and the tourniquet. If uh, we can stop the bleed, uh, we're going to save somebody's life. Because you are literally overstimulating all of the nerves in the, in the front chest, back, and arm at the same time. Employees learning how to handle different harmful scenarios. Also, wasn't aware of how to really hold pepper spray with your thumb and in your least dominant hand so that you've got your dominant hand free to help do other actions. And learning some startling statistics behind workplace shootings. Is more than likely going to come from within. I was kind of surprised that almost 100% of the shooters that come in are somehow connected with an employee. You guys aren't moving like there's a, a shooter in the building. <laughs> Plan now in place with the hope of saving lives when seconds count. For us to be able to have a plan to get out of the building safely has got to help all of our employees. There we go. What was the first thing he did when he came through that door? In Kansas City, Allison Bruder reporting for the Now KC.